The classic demonstration for projectile motion is shoot the monkey. And I would be remiss if I did not have shoot the monkey when I talked about projectiles. And I have the monkey of science here on hand to help us do the shoot the monkey you know, experiment. He's got a uh, cool headband that's so uh, blindfold so you know, he doesn't have to watch the danger and a nice breastplate to keep him safe. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take a metal ball, steel ball, we're going to load it up in this air gun here, okay, and then we'll aim it at the monkey and see if we can hit him. Now this is not just for entertainment purposes. We're not just shooting the monkey for no reason. The question is, if we shoot a monkey, all right, if we aim at the monkey of science, right, where do we want to aim when we shoot the gun so if the gun startles the monkey and he lets go of the tree or whatever, right when we shoot the gun, where do you have to aim so that the bullet hits the monkey when it's falling, okay? Do we have to aim below the monkey? so that when the monkey's falling, he falls in and gets hit? Do we have to aim, uh, aim above the monkey so that the bullet arcs and hits the monkey? Or do you aim right at the monkey? And that's the eternal question. So, let's get set up. We've got the gun loaded and trigger on, and I'm going to go put the monkey of science up, ready to be hit. So I'm going to aim right at the monkey. We're going to see what happens. Here we go. Three, two, one. When I aim right at the monkey and launch the ball, right, they end up hitting each other. Okay? So why is it aiming at the monkey do better? Well, you can think about it if they were really close together and I pushed the ball sideways because sideways motion is not anything to worry about when you're calculating up and down motion. We can kind of keep them separate, right? So the horizontal motion of the ball can be ignored and we can, um, so if it was flat, the ball and the monkey shooting at each other would fall at the same rate. Right? And then if we shoot an arc, they still match up, okay, if I aim up at an angle, because it gets this little arc and comes down and hits the monkey at the same time. All right? So you aim at the monkey. It's, in some ways, you can see that they both have the same acceleration frame. They both have the same gravity. If one experienced gravity different than the other, then they wouldn't hit. Okay, so that's the easiest way to explain. But the cool thing is, is that you just aim right at the monkey and if it starts falling when you shoot the bullet, then they'll hit the same time. So something to take away from this though is if you took a gun and shot a bullet sideways and you had a bullet in your hand and you let go of it and let it fall to the ground, which would hit the ground first? It turns out, if you ignore the spiraling of the bullet and a couple other details, but it turns out that the bullet will hit the ground shot from the gun. The bullet from the gun will hit the ground at the same time as the bullet that you drop with your fingers and let it fall straight down. Right? As long as the bullet with the gun doesn't hit anything, and we don't want it to hit anything. So if it just went straight and eventually hit the ground, and a bullet, you'd let go of it and went straight down, they would hit the ground at the same time. All right? Be careful with guns. and. Remember, only experienced monkeys of science should be hit by projectiles.